Hi YouTube, Tim Huckert here. In this video, we're going to install Krita on a Chromebook. The first thing we want to do is install the Linux development environment. And to do that, I'm going to go to my launch here, click on that, and I'm going to search for settings. I'll open up my settings, and on the left-hand side, I have right down at the bottom about Chrome OS. I'm going to click on that, and once I click on that, if I go down here, I see Linux development environment. I'll click setup, and a wizard will pop up. I'm going to click next and then it gives me a username which is, I believe is based off of your email. I would change that now if you want to and also a recommended disk size. Now you can set a custom disk size with this slider here or stick with the recommended and then change the disk size later. That's easy. I'm going to stick with the recommended and click install. Now that's going to take a few moments so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. At this point, I can go and close out my settings. Let me maximize this terminal and make it a little bit larger so you can see what I'm going to do. So I want to make sure everything's up to date. I can do that by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands and then sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag. And that just says yes to any additional storage. That's going to run through, take a few moments, and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's run through, we can clear everything out by just typing clear and hitting enter. And then we want to install Krita. So we're going to type sudo apt install Krita and hit enter. And this is going to take an extra 649 megabytes of space. So you want to make sure you have that. If you do, click yes and hit enter. And I'm going to let that run through and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that that's run through, I can just close this out. And if I go over here to my launcher and scroll on down, and if I look in my Linux apps, I see I have this icon for Krita. I'm just going to pin it to my shelf and then click open. And here we go. Krita opens on up and you can begin using the program. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.